punch me, Guido. Punch me in the face. This is the most glorious day of my life. Does anybody remember that one scene from Cars? Anyway, so if you're wondering, man, have I missed out on an episode here? Nope, you're good. You're good. Um, I just casually dropped an automotive animation on you. And why is that? So this marks the 15th video that we've been through. And we are closing in on, I guess, a checkpoint moment. And in just a few days, I am going to share with you this very asset as a way for you to check your own skills and sort of put in action everything that you have learned so far because the best way to learn a 3D software is by doing. However, also I think that if you have to start from scratch, from absolute zero, it has its own advantages, of course, its own pros, but I think it's also of value when you have access to high quality assets and you can get to see how things are done. And so what I have on screen here is a close up of the mesh that you have just seen of this car. And the roadmap here is that in the next video, we will cover an introduction to PBR materials. And right after that, we will start actually 3D modeling. We will do a, an introduction to actual modeling techniques. And to fully understand those two topics, I think that one key concept that is good to have is the concept of topology flow. And so I'm going to use this asset right here to sort of talk through what are good examples of good topology that makes sense and also bad examples. So throughout the free project files, both this one that I'm going to share and the previous one, I have put in both good examples and also bad examples of things that are not proper. So this video, I'm planning to keep it short. The only thing that I want to touch base on is the idea of topology and topology flow. So as you know by now, 3D object meshes are made of faces, but the way that these faces flow is important. What flow means is that they have intentionality and direction to them. Like they're not just casually placed. Everything is designed to flow in a way that follows the surface. So in the end, if you think about it, what you're doing with 3D modeling is trying to describe a shape or a volume or a surface in 3D space. And so the way you can accomplish that is almost endless. You could describe the same mesh in so many ways, but the way that you do it has an impact, especially later on when we step into animation, if you have to animate a body, the mesh in order to deform properly has to follow a certain flow and, and certain schemes. So before we jump into the topology, I just want to point out a few definitions. We have talked in previous videos about trees and triangles. Now, any surface any geometry can be reduced to triangles. Any geometrical shape that you have, you can eventually break it down into triangles. For that reason, triangulated meshes are the standard that you're going to see in game assets. When you, when you see a 3D model in a game asset, under the hood, the mesh has been triangulated. However, when those assets are 
built because going up and down in the subdivision of triangles it doesn't really work well and in the previous video we learned about the cottonwood clark scheme that doesn't really perform well on triangles where things start to happen for that reason when you design things when you 3d model them the standard workflow usually is to design things as quads and later on to convert them to triangles and i think this is pretty apparent here because if you look carefully you can still see the quads of how this thing was created and then you can see the diagonals that are making it triangulated if you look closely you, you can kind of like imagine how you could revert that back to quads now other than triangles and quads there are also things called n gons as in n polygons and those are shapes that technically have more than four edges those are generally to be avoided just like generally is to be avoided to have quads connecting in this kind of fashion where you have one vertices that is connecting to one two three four and five this generally is not recommended however in cases like this it is okay so the game of 3d modeling and it really becomes a game is that of making decisions of what makes good topology flow and also when to place strategically things like this that make sense like like if you place them because you didn't really know how to resolve a surface that's probably not good but if you place them with intention then it's okay because they will be placed sparingly and in strategic points so to talk a little bit more on that and make a good example of topology flow we have this section here that is enveloping the front headlight of the car and because of this shape that it has that it needs to go around the front headlight it does make sense that it flows in what would be for us by looking at it from this perspective and sort of horizontal flow right it flows like this whereas things coming from here are flowing down right in a more vertical way and so you are going to have a problem that this thing needs to reconcile with this thing right so you have lines flows that come down all this way and also this way okay from this plane but then you're going to have this thing that it's a sort of flow on its own encapsulated in its own thing and at the same time right here from the side of the front wheel you have this part of the bumper that it's on in another plane and so to have everything reconcile you are going to have to use at certain points strategic points like this ones where you place this so that you can sort of intercept all the flows and sort of like have them talk with each other now right here we are on the side of the car looking at the door and here we have other examples some are good and some are bad so if we look at this part where we have the key lock here we have a circle that needs to somehow exist within this door panel that is otherwise flowing perfectly and this thing it's really hard to reconcile so it is okay to have a solution something like this where you have something that starts to go towards the end gun solution and that is perfectly fine 
Whereas down here, we have something of a mess that I have left on purpose to show you that this is not exactly a good solution to describe the flow of the mesh here. All of this thing is pretty much unnecessary. Okay, so that is actually it for this video. I really only wanted to introduce you to this next project file that I am about to share. So if you missed the whole deal of how to get the free project files, you should review video number five. This one is the 15th. We're closing in on a sort of checkpoint moment and this second project file will be all about putting your new skills into practice while also being able to work with a high quality asset with good examples of things the way they're supposed to be and also bad examples of things that should not be there and we will take a look at how to fix them. Lastly, like I foreshadowed earlier, next video we're talking about materials, finally. And the one after we will start introducing 3D modeling techniques. And so it's important that you go into those topics, having had at least a primer on the idea of topology flow and a few more examples of what, why, and when we use triangles and when quads and when we do instead resort to n-gons to resolve the definition of a 3D surface. Cool, I hope you are hyped and I'll see you in the next video.